Hello guys, how are you? Today our topic is quadratic inequality. Before we figure out how to solve a quadratic inequality, let's look at what is called a quadratic inequality. If degree of x is equal to 2, this inequality call it quadratic inequality. Let's look at examples. x minus 7 less than 0. The degree of x is equal to 1, so this inequality called linear inequality. Let's look at second example, x squared minus 7x plus 5 greater than or equal to 0. The degree of x is equal to 2, this inequality called quadratic inequality. There are four types of quadratic inequalities. Ax squared plus bx plus c. It can be greater than zero or it can be less than zero. Greater than or equal to zero. Or last one, less than or equal to zero. The a, b and the c are constant numbers. And uh, a isn't equal to zero. There are two ways of solving quadratic inequality. The first is with sign chart. The second is with graph. Let me show you one example with sign chart. x square minus x minus 12 greater than or equal zero. The first convert the inequality into an equation. x square minus x minus 12 equal to zero. Second, find the solution of the equation. Factorize this equation. It will equal to x minus four multiply x plus 3 is equal to 0. The x minus 4 equal to 0. x equal to 4. x plus 0 equal to 0. x equal to minus 3. Now we need a sign chart in order to get the right answer. So we have negative 3 on the left and the 4 on the right. At the end on the right, we have positive infinitive and the negative infinitive on the left. And I put closest points at those points because our sign is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, we have three regions and uh, we need to check these three regions to see uh, when it's this side of the equation is positive because we don't need where it's negative because it has to be greater than zero and uh, we got to plug in numbers and the test these signs so let's uh, pick a number between these regions between four and the uh, infinitive i pick a uh, five five minus four equal to 1, 5 plus 3 equal to 8. When we multiply positive numbers, it will be equal to positive number. So I put the plus sign. Let's pick a number between minus 3 and the 4. I will take 2. 2 minus 4 equal to minus 2. 2 plus 3 equal to 5. When we multiply negative number and a positive number, we will take negative number. So we will put the minus sign next. Minus infinitive and the minus 3. I will put uh, take minus 4. Minus 4 minus 4 equal to minus 8. Minus 4 plus 3 equal to minus 1. When we multiply two negative numbers, we will take positive number. So put the positive plus sign. 
Now we are gonna to write the answers. Our sign is greater than or equal to zero, yes? And we will take plus sides of this sign chart. Answer will be uh, negative infinitive minus three. Union the four and the uh, positive infinitive. It's our answer. Guys, life like a sign chart consists from black and white, negative and positive, yes? You need to learn from your from every moment, from your mistakes, from others' characters, from others' good acts. At the end, uh, you should choose what you need to be a good person. Now let me show you one example. We are gonna to solve this example with second way, with graph. Uh, x square plus 2x minus 15 less than 0. Let's factorize it. Factorizing the easiest way, it will equal to x plus 5 multiply x minus 3 less than 0. Um, convert the inequality into an equation. It will be equal to x plus 5 multiply x minus 3 equal to 0. x equal to minus 5 and x equal to 3. So, if I was going to sketch it on a graph, I will cross at minus 5. And one more time, I will cross it at minus 5 and I will cross it at 3. Uh, it's a quadratic graph. I will sketch a parabola. I look at minus 5 and at 3. We won't worry it's less than 0, where this graph is below 0. That's the zero line. The This bit of the graph, it's in the between minus 5 and the 3. X has got to be bigger than minus 5 but less than 3. Let me write this. X must be minus 5 greater than minus 5 and uh, less than 3. We may write this answer like minus 5 and 3. Next example, the square of x plus 3 less than or equal to the square of 5x minus 9. This example harder than others and uh, we are gonna to solve this example with two ways. The first answer, first, uh, first step is is we expand the brackets of a given inequality x square plus 6x plus 9 less than or greater 25x square minus 90x plus 81 second then we collect all the terms on the left hand side from each side of the inequality to keep a positive coefficient of x square. It will be 0 less than all equal to 25 x square minus 90 x plus 81 minus x square minus 6x minus 9. Next, we are gonna to simplify the this result and the nothing will be switched. It means we didn't change the sign. 25x square minus x square is equal to 24x square minus 90 
x minus 6x is equal to minus 96x and uh, plus uh, 81 minus 8 minus 9 equal to 72 greater than or equal to 0. Then divide both sides of the inequality by 24. 24 divided by 24 equal to x square. 96 divided by 24 it's minus 4x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0. Then convert inequality into an equation and factorize it. x minus 3 multiply x minus 1 equal to 0. x equal to 3 and the x equal to 1. Finally, we find the value of x. Now we need a sign chart in order to get the right answer. Mm, but write down answers again. x minus 1 multiply x minus 3 equal to 0. x equal to 1, x equal to 3. So let's draw a sign chart. We have 1 and a 3 on the left and the right sides of sign chart and the negative infinitive, positive infinitive and the 3 regions. To put the signs, I take between 3 and the infinitive. 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Uh, positive multiply positive is equal to positive number. We will put plus sign and uh, between 1 and 3. I will take 2. 2 minus 1 equal to 1. 2 minus 3 minus 1. Positive multiply in negative it's negative. Mm, minus negative and the 1 I will take minus 2 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 minus 2 minus 3 equal to minus 5 mm, negative multiply negative it's equal to a positive number so we put plus now and uh, our sign is greater than or equal to 0 uh, we are gonna to take positive sides of this sign chart it's equal to minus infinitive and one union three and the positive infinitive don't forget to put brackets and the closed points we find the answers of this inequality with sign chart yes let's Find the answers of this inequality with graph. So, as an alternative method, we can sketch the graph of f at x equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3. Let's sketch the graph. And we can write that x squared minus 4x plus 3 greater than or equal to zero given that the coefficient of x square is positive number and the, our surf our parabola surf will be open upward let's just draw and the as the roots of the equation are x equal to 1 and the x equal to 3. This means that the curve will pass through 1 and the 3. Let's draw this parabola again. Uh, 1 and the 3. One more time. Let's draw. Okay. Uh, to solve the inequality x squared minus 4x plus 3 
um, greater than or equal to zero, we consider the roots, the points on the graph of f at x equal to x square minus 4x plus 3, where f at x is greater than or equal zero. And this will be both the x-axis at the values where x less than or equal to 1 and the x greater than or equal 3. Equal to 3. Uh, we can write the answers like write all real numbers except 1 and 3. That's all guys, thank you for your attention and goodbye.